You saw it first only on two, a heavily trafficked bridge in Joliet with one of the worst structural ratings in the state. And tonight we're getting an exclusive look at what engineers say makes this bridge so dangerous. CBS 2's Megan Hickey is always investigating, joins us live from the I-80 Desplaines River Bridge with what we have learned. Megan. Brad and Erica IDOT just awarded a contract for about $5 million worth of repairs to this bridge, but we're learning those repairs won't even come close to covering all of the problems found by inspectors. Black. Black. Because it's so bad that it would be a threat if people knew how bad it was. The Union of Operating Engineers Local 150 were hoping for detailed reports about the structural deficiencies of the I-80 Desplaines River bridges, but much of the info that they were hoping for was redacted. This isn't just a question of safety to drive over. IDOT says that the photos and other details were covered up because they revealed vulnerabilities with the bridges. They've also repeatedly stated that the bridges are safe for drivers. But Local 150 says residents have the right to know why inspectors gave it such a low rating. People in Joliet are becoming aware of this and they're justifiably concerned. So the union decided to take a look themselves with their own cameras. There are very few supports on this bridge that look okay. They found tilted rocker bearings used to help support the bridge, heavily degraded concrete on nearly every support section, and serious corrosion at the bridge's joints. We also sent the report and photos to a third-party civil engineer with UIC's College of Engineering. That becomes a significant concern. Dita Mozevin agreed with the union and said two things worry her the most. This corrosion around expansion joints and these tilted rocker bearings. They have to be repaired, retrofitted, and if actually based on federal highway, if they may need to uh, redone the entire bridge, depending on the decision by the Department of Transportation. The long-term plan is to replace this bridge, but funding is still an issue. Just last week, Senators Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth sent a letter to the federal government asking for about $475 million to address projects like this one. Live in Joliet, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News, Brad and Erica, back to you. Thank you, Megan.